Okay, this is our other um, hothouse that we use in the greenhouse. You could also do something like this outside if you wanted to. So this is the other wire cages that I was showing you. And then we, we just have a hook up here where we can lift that up. And then these are some of our seedling flats that are growing under here. And then underneath them, does on the floor. Underneath these, we also have the cement board. You have to be kind of careful with it. It gets brittle when it gets really wet. But if you're not touching it or moving it, it, it'll just sit here. These have been here for years. Okay, so underneath this is, this is our heat cables. And this is, it's a heat cable that comes, it comes in a roll, you buy it, it's for plants. Um, you can also bury these in the soil. And this is put on a hardware cloth. There's just this wire that I attach this to. I just have little, um, little wires that hold this down. And then we have a one inch foam board so that we don't lose any heat through the bottom. And then the, the cement board just goes on top. That helps distribute the heat. Now the heat cables are set at like, I don't know, 65 degrees or something. And they have a, there's a little, it's kind of a thermostat thing that comes with them. It's, um, I don't know if it's on this end. Let's take a look. On this end here, this is just where it goes. Just, it's just cabled to a plug. You just plug it in. And it runs really, you know, like I say, about 65 degrees. And I use the cement board to help distribute the heat. This actually works really, really well. We've had really good luck with it. And it'll just slightly warm the, the bottom of the soil. You can also take the heat cables and you can bury that in the ground. I, I prefer to grow in the trays. So I just grow right on top like that. So, and then at night, then we put the wire down. Oh, let me get my other tray. Don't wanna forget one. This goes down at night and then we have uh, the plastic and I can leave the plastic on during the day if if it's a cloudy day I can just have the plastic on it to uh, collect heat and then we have the heavy blanket that goes on at night and we don't need the extra layer because we are in the greenhouse and we don't have to attach it down because there's no wind in here but this system works really great for starting seeds or if you wanted to do some um, some greens production in here with just uh, like the peas and things like that. So these are the, the designs that we use here on our farm. To learn lots more about easy productive gardening, tune into the High Performance Garden Show. You don't want to miss out. The show features a 128 square foot vegetable garden that can produce over $2,500 worth of garden fresh veggies with only a 15 minute a day commitment and we'll show you everything that we do in that garden for a 33-week growing season. Along with the upcoming season, you can also watch the last two seasons. That's over 110 hours of gardening education, totally for free. Soon we will be starting the next season, which will provide you with 33 more weekly episodes to get you even more garden tips and techniques on how to grow a high-performance garden in your backyard. Sign up today, start learning. It's totally free. Start your garden season off right by going to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. Until next time, may your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.